Hey guys, it's me, Poppy Rain here, and today we're going to be reading the next book of the Book of Children's Classics. This one is one of my favorites from when I was a kid, Madeline, from Madeline, if you, by Ludwig Bemelemans. If you guys like this book, um, you can also check out the Madeline TV show, which is on Tubi, and Madeline the movie, which is on Tubi, and you can get it other places too. Madeline movie is based off of Mostly this first book, it's based off of one other book, too. But, yeah. So just like the other stories in this book, I'm going to read the about section, only the part that's relevant, that tells you about the book. The rest of it I'm going to skip over. This is about Madeline. Ludwig Bemelmans spent the summer of 1938 with his wife, Madeline, and daughter Barbara on the... Isle de you off the west coast of France. Part of that summer was spent in the hospital after Bemelman's bicycle collided with the one and only car on the small island. Bemelman wrote, I was put into a small white carbolic bed. In the next room was a little girl who had her appendix out. And on the ceiling over my bed was a crack that in the very light of morning, noon, and evening looked like a rabbit. I saw the nun bringing soup to the little girl. I remembered the stories my mother had told me of life in a convent school in the little girl. The hospital room, hospital, the room, the crack on the bed and the nurse all fell into place. Then... I thought about where Madeline and her friends should live and decided on Paris. Madeline. In an old house in Paris was covered with vines. Lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines they broke their bread. In two straight lines and brushed, oh, sorry, and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good, they frowned at the bad, and sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines, in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter snow and ice. To the tiger at the zoo, Madeline just said poo poo. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, Something is not right. Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. And soon after, Dr. Khan came, he rushed out to the phone and dialed Danton 10 6. Everyone had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in the arm of a, in a blanket, safe and warm. The red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed there was a crank. And a crack on the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Outside were birds, trees, and sky. And soon ten days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, Isn't this a fine day to visit? Madeline. Visitors from two to four read a sign outside her door, tiptoeing with solemn face, with some flowers and a vase. In they walked and then said, Ah, when they saw the toys and candy and dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. Goodbye, they said, we'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. 
They went home and broke their bread, brushed their teeth, and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, Something is not right. And afraid of disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. And she said, Please, children, do tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried, Boo hoo! We want to have our appendix out, too. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. She turned out the light and closed the door. That's all there is. There isn't any more. The end.